Greetings! It is my honor and privilege to welcome you all to the 2020-2021 Semester 2 Non-Academic Awards. Today we have five different categories of awards, most of which you're going to remember from the Semester 1 Awards, although the names have been changed to better represent our school. The first group of awards are the Global Awards, and these are based on the IB Learner Profile attributes. Students were nominated by teachers, selected by members of the leadership team, based on the justification provided by those teachers. We will have one student from year 7 to 9 and one student from 10 and 11 who will represent each of these learner profile attributes. We also have the JAYA Awards. For these awards, we have one student from each advisory who was nominated, and then we chose one student from each of those nominations to represent the year level. These students represent resilience and the ability to overcome challenges. We also have the Hawk Award, which was something new in semester one of this year. We're going to continue that. That is based on the IB Learner Profile, the vision and mission of the school, and the winners of the Hawk Awards really represent who we want you all to strive to be, both in and out of the classroom. We will have one Hawk Award recipient from year seven to nine, and one from 10 and 11. We will also have the Services Action Awards from the MYP, and those are designed to recognize three students or groups who exemplify the spirit of Services Action. Lastly, we have the CAS Awards. Much like the Services Action Awards, these are designed to recognize three students or groups of students who exemplified the spirit of creativity, activity, and service. We had a plethora of nominees for each of these categories this year. I want to thank everyone who nominated a student or students. I want to thank everyone on the leadership team who helped us to determine these winners. Most of all, I want to thank all of you students, those of you who are nominated, those of you who have won, and those of you who were not nominated nor won an award. Because in order for these types of things to take place, we need the entire community coming together. Regardless of whether you won, were nominated, or were not nominated for an award, I encourage you to all strive to be better every day and all to strive to be the best that you can be. With that being said, please sit back, enjoy the show, and celebrate the success of your peers. Thank you. Students who are reflective thoughtfully consider the world and their own ideas and experiences. Reflective students work to understand their strengths and weaknesses in order to support their learning and personal development. The winner of the Reflective Award from Year 7 to Year 9 student is Zahir Sevenmi. Zahir consistently asking a feedback from the teacher during working on the task either formative assessment or summative assessment. So, congratulations, Zahir. Hello, I nominated Zahir of 7B for the Reflective Learner Profile Award. Uh, this is because Zahir always asks really good questions, uh, not only about the content that we're learning in class, but also about uh, the activities that he participates in and the tasks that he's been asked to perform. And once he gets the answers to this, he applies this feedback to his work in a meaningful way. Um, this time we've been looking at technology as a grid seven unit, and we've been doing research and he's kept a really reflective process channel that shows um, what he's been learning every week, what he thinks about what he's been learning and his overall reflection on the whole process this time. So congratulations, Sahir, keep on being a reflective student. Zahir, you earned this award since, of course, you listen to your teachers, um, you act on feedback, um, you also refer back to your past experience and past notes for improvement, um, you self-evaluate yourself and your work, which obviously contributes so much to your learning. So it has been a pleasure to have you in a class and congratulations. Cheers. The winner of the Reflective Award for Year 10 to 12 is Alicia Trevina Oarto, 10C. Alicia, you have received this award because in our drama class, you are able to evaluate your work and the work of others regularly using the assessment criteria. What about you, Ibu Poppy? During the personal project journey in year 10, I always give a feedback to the student. Alicia understands what is her strength and weakness. This is the way for her to improve her personal learning and development. 
Mulai Li. Hi Alicia, you deserve this award because um, through uh, working through the written assessment of science, you always ask for feedback uh, to improve uh, your work. And on behalf of Ibu Tria and Ibu Poppy, congratulations Alicia. Inquirers nurture their curiosity, developing skills for inquiry and research. They know how to learn independently and with others. They learn with enthusiasm and sustain their love of learning throughout life. The winner of the Inquirer Award for year 7 to 9 is Kaira Wular 9C. Kaira always show curiosity, developing skills for inquiry and research during the IS class. Kaira also consistently learn independently and also learn with others. During the class time, Kaira always bring enthusiasm and sustain her love of learning throughout the life and throughout the lesson. Well, congratulations Kaira for winning the award. The winner for the Inquirer Award for year 10 until 12 is Adara Sharmila Putri from 11B. Dara, I nominated you for the Inquirer Award because um, you never cease to have questions about the literary and non-literary texts that we are studying. Um, you always come equipped with some questions at the beginning of the lessons and often stay behind after class as well because there's something that you're just still curious about. Uh, so keep that curiosity and congratulations on your Inquiry Award. I'm nominating Dara to receive Inquirer Awards. As she often asks questions that reflect genuine curiosity, she did research before asking, which make her question meaningful in improving the class understanding. Knowledgeable students develop and use conceptual understanding to explore knowledge across a range of disciplines. Knowledgeable students engage with issues and ideas that have local and global significance. The winner of the Knowledgeable Award for year 7 to year 9 student is Christophe Suleiman 7C. Christophe can combine concepts and explore his ideas into exciting way. In several discussions sessions in class, Christophe was able to give an excellent explanation of it. And not only of that, he was able to provide good feedback on the work being presented by his peers. Congratulations, Christo. You deserve the star. I, I nominate Christo, year 7C, is a knowledgeable student who explains ideas, concept, plans, and information in detail when he completes the task, either formative uh, or summative. He also effectively utilizes uh, specific and relevant facts when answering the questions six information uh, from a variety of resources and sources to undertake a task. Congratulations! Hi everyone, it's me Bufarha. I want to say congratulations to Christoph for his achievement in winning the Knowledgeable Award for Year 7 to 9. The reason why I chose Christoph because he always give his best effort in Papa Karen class, both in personal project or group project, and he always engage in class discussion to give his opinions. So Christoph, Congratulations, keep up the good work. Congratulations for being nominated as knowledgeable students. I choose you. The reason why I choose you because you are the one who has a broad knowledge and understanding and learning and you have a good knowledge. You show it by leading a discussion and then deliver some good ideas and also you have a good understanding in certain topic and answering the question well. The winner of the Knowledgeable Award for year 10 to 12 is Laksana Lazuardi Rahman 10A. Knowledgeable. Congratulations, Aldi, for being selected for this award. From my class, I have nominated you for this award as I found that you have good understanding and knowledge about different math concepts. You see every problem with a different perspective and always explore for the new knowledge beyond the classroom. 
you also have very good understanding about the different math competition national and international you run a math asa to help your friend to prepare themselves for these competitions we are proud of you aldi keep it up Hi Abi, congratulations for winning Knowledge Ball Award. Although you are a new student, you have proven to me, at least in my class, that you able to understand the basic concept that we have learning in PPKM kind of class. You explore it across subject, and then you also engage with the current issue that have both local and global significance. So congratulations, Abi. Keep up the good work, and see you in the next academic year. Thinkers use critical and creative thinking skills to analyze and take responsible action on complex problems. Thinkers exercise initiative in making reasoned, ethical decisions. The winner of the Thinker Award for Year 7 Tier 9 student is Advik 70. Advik always applies thinking skills creatively and critically to solve the problem and make a decision in my class. He also often contribute to class and group discussion. Moreover, Atvik always asks follow-up questions to clarify his understanding towards the topic, materials, or instruction. Atvik also shows excellent use of prior knowledge, critical thinking, and creative thinking skills throughout the creative process. And he leads his art-making decisions well based on those judgments. Atvik always questioning assumption and evidence to reach novel conclusion. He also always tried to solve complex, challenging, and unfamiliar questions. Congratulations, Hadwick, and continue being an excellent thinker. The winner for the Thinker Award for year 10 until 12 is Shahrul Ahmad Hassan from 11A. I choose Yahrul as a thinker student because he responds to the materials being taught critically by providing an analysis with logical and detailed arguments. He also used logical thinking to respond to global issues that are being studied. Communicators express themselves confidently and creatively in more than one language and in many ways. Students who are communicators collaborate effectively listening carefully to the perspectives of other individuals and groups. The winner of the Communicator Award for Year 7 to 9 is Torik 8C. Torik, I nominated you as a communicator because you always turn your cameras on in meetings whenever you were asked to, which makes it a whole lot easier for the teacher. You also listen well when others explain things and you express your opinion in a respectful manner. Also, you would seek clarification if you didn't understand anything and you would express yourself in a clear, concise manner. You also communicated effectively and often took the lead when you were in groups um, and listened respectfully to your uh, peers and communicated well with them and then you would often come to meets after school or during office hours and check on things that you didn't understand you also uh, listened well to the feedback and this has uh, led to you having a very successful year so well done and uh, congratulations on your award the winner of the communicator awards for year 10 until 12 is Alaika Saputra from 11E. Alaika, congratulations on your Communicator Award. I nominated you for this award because you've been a great communicator this year. Um, you took it upon yourself to be the sort of liaison between the rest of the group uh, and me. And uh, during office hours, you're always the one to email me and say, oh, we've got a question about this, or could you just clarify that? And then, okay, I'll get back to the others. Um, you collaborate really well with whatever group you're working with. Um, and I appreciate the emails that you send and the way that you really keep on top of things. So congratulations, you're a great communicator. Students who are principled act with integrity and honesty, with a strong sense of fairness and justice and with respect for the dignity and rights of people everywhere. Principled students take responsibility for their actions and their consequences. 
winner of the principal award for year 7 to 9 is Emir 8D. I nominated Emir because during home page learning, Emir always show his integrity in completing all class activities, respecting and appreciating all friends by being able to work with anyone and he also being responsible. Congratulations to you, Emir. I nominated Emir for the Principal Award because he is so reliable um, in this online uh, learning situation. Um, he always has his video camera on, he's always punctual and uh, ready to answer questions and numerous times I've relied on him to help me uh, to know whether somebody else has problems with their Wi-Fi or whether everybody can hear me. Um, so I've really appreciated having him in my class. Congratulations, Amir. The winner of the Principal Award for Year 10 until 12 is Mazaya Shahrita Haryansha from 11A. Mazaya is a principled student. Through her engagement with the course, she has demonstrated a strong code of right and wrong. In discussions, she regularly advocates for any social group that she feels has been unjustly treated, both local and global. If she does something she feels is wrong, she takes responsibility without pause. She holds herself to the same principles that she wants in others. Open-minded students critically appreciate their own cultures and personal histories, as well as the values and traditions of others. Students who are open-minded seek and evaluate a range of points of view and are willing to grow from the experience. The winner of the Open-Minded Awards for Year 7 to 9 is Oliver 8B. Thank you, Pastor and congratulations to Oliver Year 8B. Oliver for the Open Minded Award because in the PH lesson he was active in giving and setting the feedback for peer and group discussion, setting differences, and working collaboratively with us. Hi Oliver! Congratulations on being awarded as an open minded person. You are always a pleasure to have in my class. You take seriously any feedback and suggestion from your teacher and peers to help you grow into a better person. There are many times when the group discussion does not seem to be alive, you still show your empathy and understanding of your friend's feelings and conditions and keep trying to make the discussion go on until the end. Thank you for the effort and open-mindedness. Keep shining, Oliver! The winner of the Open-Minded Award for Year 10 to 12 is Lovely Talita Aura Zahra 10D. Feli is an open minded student. She can work well in groups and also accepts differences. Caring students show empathy, compassion, and respect. Students who are caring have a commitment to service and act to make a positive difference in the lives of others and in the world around us. The winner of the Caring Award for Year 7 to 9 is Amina 9C. Hello, my name is Iburia. I'd like to congratulate Amina from 9C. It's shown frequently during class when she gave uh, words of encouragement to her classmates and volunteered to present study materials or works when internet connection problems occurred during class. She always helped her friends who have difficulty in learning and also who have difficulty in other technical problems. She will eagerly look for a link to a document or file. Some of her friends do not know where to get. And if either herself or her close friend or the classmate are having a problem, she will be the person that will be the first to give uh, the foot. The winner of the Caring Award for Year 10 until 12 is Alun Arkananta from 11D. 
Alun is a student who shows empathy, compassion, and respect to not only the teacher but also to other students. He is always willing to lend a helping hand to the teacher for reminding the other students to join the class on time or sometimes become a messenger if other students are coming late due to technical issue or other matters. It's a pleasure to have you in my class. I hope that Alun can always demonstrate this kindness because a small act can bring great change to others. Once again, congratulations. Risk takers approach uncertainty with forethought and determination. They work independently and cooperatively to explore new ideas and innovative strategies. Risk takers are resourceful and resilient in the face of challenges and change. The winner of the Risk Taker Award for your 7 to 9 is Jiwoo 9B. Jiwoo is someone that has shown his determination to learning this semester. He has shown much progress because he has explored so much on his own, developing his skill set based on his own exploration and discoveries. He also took a risk at the end of the semester by taking on a project that challenged his time management and skills. And he succeeded! Congratulations, Jiwoo! The winner of the Risk Taker Award for year 10 to 12 is Sifa Aulia. D. This student works independently and cooperatively to explore music elements and is able to apply the concepts and context to new settings. It's very much shown in her personal project where she explored new ideas and innovative strategies to write her original composition. Um, in my class, I've really appreciated the creative work that she has done, um, particularly how she expressed herself in poetry and through um, the illustrations that she did for her poetry. And also when she did the creative response to Macbeth, um, she took risks and really put herself out there. Well done, Shifa. As new student in Global Jaya School, Shifa tried her best to adapt new learning environment. She asked her friend and teacher if face difficulties during a lesson. Please keep your good spirit to face challenge and change. Congratulations, Siva. Students who are balanced understand the importance of balancing different aspects of our lives, intellectual, physical, and emotional, to achieve well-being for themselves and others. Balanced students recognize their interdependence with other people and with the world in which they live. The winner of the Balance Award for the 7 to 9 is Rachel 9B. Thank you, Panto. I nominated Rachel for the, the Balanced Award because I feel that she exemplified those qualities this semester. When we look at someone who is balanced, they are able to balance both their school life and their home life equally. Um, achieving a balance in their lives. And I think Rachel exemplifies those qualities. She always turns in her work on time. She always comes to class with a lot of energy, with a lot of passion, um, is always engaged, which is awesome. And outside of school, she has many other pursuits, whether it's um, helping at home or playing volleyball or other such commitments. And those balanced together makes her a very well-rounded individual. So for that reason, I nominate Rachel for this award. Well done. The winner of the Balance Award for year 10 until 12 is Elisa Kalistari Satrio from 11D. I nominated uh, Lisa for the Balanced Learner Profile Award because I truly believe that she does exhibit all the qualities of a balanced learner. Uh, first of all, she is the Student Council President and she has done amazing work together with the rest of the student council in terms of bringing the school community together through this difficult time of pandemic when we've been online learning but she still made sure that there are plenty of activities that we could still uh, that could still bring us together as a community such as talent show and movie night uh, secondly as a student in my english class she's her presentations are always so thorough and on point and well researched. She clearly takes her time in doing this. And I just want to celebrate her as a gifted learner. And last but definitely not least is the tight community of friends that she has. Um, she 
always makes time for her friends, is so supportive and has proven herself to be a bulwark in these times of great trials. So well done, Lisa. Keep on being balanced. Students nominated for this award have received this nomination because of the resilience and perseverance that they have demonstrated throughout the year. Resilient students bounce back after adversity and show grit and a determination to overcome obstacles in their way. Pandemic home-based learning probably is not the best way to start your first year in MYP. But this student, she has shown her resilience and perseverance. And not only that, she always gives her best and bounces back after having difficulties. I would like to congratulate Anika for receiving this award. As your homeroom teacher, I'm very proud of you. Good afternoon. I nominated Jimin of 8A for the Jaya Award. Um, I felt that Jimin deserves this because at the beginning of the academic year, um, she presented herself as quite shy, unwilling to speak. Online learning seemed a challenge. And the fact that she was doing it in another country probably made the situation so much more difficult. But Jimin has shown amazing resilience and perseverance throughout this year. I have seen her blossom in class. She feels much more confident in speaking in front of others, in contributing her ideas, in participating in not only advisory and fry, but also in English class. So well done, Jimin, and keep on being resilient, keep on persevering. This person has been nominated for the Jaya Award because she has shown that she's a well-balanced student that demonstrates all the IB learners profile. And although she's just joined us this year as a new student, she's adapted well, not only to a new school, new friends, and she's excelled academically, but also reached out to be active in the school community and student body. And the Jaya Award for year nine goes to Kaira Nainsi. Congratulations, Kaira. I'm so proud of you. Hello, my name is Iburia. I'm here to present Jaya Award for Year 10. This student has been showing resilience in coping with the schoolwork and personal issues. The student was able to bounce back after some difficulties and was determined to complete all works despite many challenges throughout the process. As her advisor, I'm so proud of this student. Congratulations to Aisha Tendi. I wish you all the best for your diploma program. The Jaya Award is dedicated to students who demonstrated perseverance and resilience in overcoming the challenges inside or outside school. This award goes to Alia Bintoro, 11D. Alia, you deserve this award because I know that you are so strong in taking care of yourself and others. You never give up and keep moving forward to do the best in your learning. I'm very proud of you. The Services Action Awards recognize the students who demonstrate a thoughtful plan, meaningful action, and reflection of their service activities. It also reflects how students apply their knowledge and skills in a real-life context. Even though we have been conducting home-based learning for a full year, it did not hinder students to participate and give back to their communities. In the next segment, Ibu Ayu will announce the recipient of the Service as Action Awards. And at this time, I would like to congratulate all students who has persevered, took action, and give service. Congratulations, everybody. CAS Award Description. These awards are given to the students who have shown the best planning, good communication, and excellent organizational skills in executing their projects and experiences. Thank and the you. CAS Award goes to Tiara Shafa Sudiono and Jasmine Afifa Wichaksono. They created a CAS project called Your Clothes Revamp, 
where they teach on how to thrifting and remodeling clothes. The idea of a sustainable living by not following the fashion or fast industry uh, is very unique and they plan it very well, organize it very well, and execute it very well. So congratulations to Tiara and Jasmine. Pat Corey here. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce the Global Jaya School Hawk Awards. The Global Jaya School Hawk Awards are presented to students who regularly model our learner attributes and are the embodiment of what Global Jaya School students should aspire to be. Good luck to all the nominees. The winner for the Hawk Award for Year 7 to 9 is Anika Aliana Siahaan from 7B. Congratulations! Hi Anika, congratulations for winning Hawk Award this academic year. Me, Pa Ali, Pa Irwan have nominated you for some reasons. And for me, myself, it's been a pleasure to have you in my class. You're the true communicator, you're a risk taker, you're knowledgeable, and many more. So congratulations, keep up the good work, and see you in the next academic year. Hello Anika, here I would like to say congratulations, you earn it, you deserve it, you are resilient, you bounce back quick, thank you very much, we we'll seeing you next year, keep up the good work, Tata, peace. Hi Anika, this year is your first year in NYP and you already become a role model for your friends. Keep up the good work and see you again next academic year. Bye. The winner of Hawk Award for year 10 to 12 is Dira 10 d Thank you. Dira, this is what I wrote about you. Dira is an exemplary student who models so many of the learner profile attributes. Her energy and enthusiasm for learning help create a positive class atmosphere and she enjoys strong relationships with her peers. Congratulations. I agree with what Ibu Melani said before. Dira deserves for this award. She applies critical and creative thinking, demonstrates knowledge, becomes inquirer and open-minded, has principles, try to always balance her life, regularly does meaningful reflection, dares to take risks and cares for others. Dira Year 10 D is a hawk model. She is able to give inspiration to her friends in terms of academic and non-academic area, in the class and outside the class. Congratulations, Dira. Now we are at the end of the assembly. Congratulations to all students who received award today. This award is an acknowledgement of your hard work to always be better. Hopefully, this can motivate you to always do the best for yourself. For those who haven't received an award, keep trying. There are a lot of opportunities in front of you. Thank you to the teachers who have prepared this assembly from candidate submission, election to today's announcement. See you at the next assembly.